If His Excellency, the first citizen, Matamela, Sir, Erimuratangaufela, Ramaposa, is calling me, speaking to his equal in France, that and seeing me worthy of saying, I'm sending honorable. How can I worry about people that's going through a serious divorce in the Progressive Alliance? In conclusion, for the ambassadors, I have a special message to you. President Macron invited, because I spoke to the French ambassador. President Macron, the French ambassador is here. President Macron invited President Ramaphosa to functions in Paris. President Ramaphosa then said he shall be represented by the Honorable <laughs> Gaten McKenzie. <laughs> now you hear yesterday in Parliament there was a fight. They called me a bandit. I said, I can't get angry. People say, Mam why don't you get angry? I said, in life, you must always consider the source. Who's speaking? before you react. If His Excellency, the first citizen, Matamela, Sir, Erimuratangaufela, Ramaphosa, is calling me, speaking to his equal in France, that, and seeing me worthy of saying, I'm sending Honorable, <laughs> how can I worry about people that's going through a serious divorce in the Progressive Alliance when they say the revolution will eat its children? They talking about that arrangement that they are having there. South Africans, I got to Paris as when I got to the door, because now I, my chief of staff said, we'll send the email that you are coming. Because I'm old school, I said, make me a copy. <laughs> I kept it here. Because <laughs> if there's one hater there, that they don't want me to enter, I must take out ambassador. So I took out, when I got there, they say, Honorable? I said yes. Walk in. People were complaining about the rain. It was raining. Six hours straight rain. Me, I'm just like this. <laughs> I don't talk, I smile. Because I'm happy. They say Mackenzie is, the, is so excited to be a minister. Hey, I'm very excited. You are not lying. I am the most excited. <laughs> if you've sat in a prison cell one day and God transformed your life the way God has touched me and God put me through my mother's prayers at a certain point, how can I be said? I'm very excited. Even my children, they got a race when I was appointed. <laughs> I'm so excited. I said, don't worry about the salary. I'm here. You can live to use the salary. I'm just happy to be here. Because we live in the greatest country in the world. South Africans and the greatest continent. South Africans, let me tell you, and Africans, don't underestimate where you are born. We live on a great continent, and we as South Africans, we're part of a great uh, part of the continent. And to the ambassadors, I know you are being asked this question. Because when I was invited in, in, in Paris, 
My friend says, Paris, I said, Paris. Because <laughs> I heard when I got there, I mean, it's not Paris, it's Paris. <laughs> so when you say, when you're going to Paris, I don't answer. Don't know where that is. You must say Paris. So when I go to Paris, Paris <laughs> I get invited to all these important events. But I've made friends now with the sports ministers on the continent. But they are not being invited. I see the sports minister of Azerbaijan, the sports minister of this country. We are always together, but these important events. They are not being invited, but I am invited. And then I realized, I first thought it's because these people think intellectually I can <laughs> share some knowledge. I realized very quickly, Minister Mutsekh, the only reason why I get invited to these things was because they want to hear, they are curious about the government of national unity. <laughs> that is the reason why I was invited. So I want to tell all the ambassadors that are here, you've probably heard that there are lots of stories about the GNU. How long is it going to last? The, they're saying the GNU is not going to last. So you have the GNU, you have the Progressive Caucus. These two, this Progressive Caucus on my left hand side says, we are not going to last. They that said we are not going to last are going to divorce at the moment. <laughs> They are taking them each other's members. That thing is no longer standing. Hey, General, you must the <laughs> that thing is, is that thing is no longer existing basically. Because we can't be in partnership. And I'm busy stealing the members of the ANC and the ANC is busy members, they come and go. But top leadership. They are taking each other's top. So how can that be a partnership? It's a partnership built on hate. And anything built on hate will not last. Anything. So today I'm here to tell the ambassadors that GNU is going to last for five years. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to people that are angry because they are saying the GNU is going to last for two years. The problem they are sitting with is if the ANC and the EFF was to form a government, they need me. <laughs> they can't form a government without me and my votes and my seats. So I want to declare here that for the next five years, I'm not moving. And the ANC, as the majority party, the biggest party they represent, they lead us. And tomorrow or the year thereafter, we will lead maybe when we have the most. But I'm not a man that likes fiction. I like fact. Although sometimes it's uncomfortable, but the fact remains a fact. I want to tell the ANC members that are here, you are embarrassing us. Because in the history of the ANC, there's never been a president that served the full term. That is not right. Because you, the president of our country, I'm asking ANC members, let, let's change this thing. With this the impression being created that we can't have a president to serve his full terms. There's never been one president in South Africa that served this full term. Let President Ramaphosa be the first president of our country to serve two full terms. We want stability, we want to move forward, and he is the glue that keeps us together. The ones that get angry, I know you had plans, but now those plans, just put it one side, let us build together, and let's build a great South Africa. And I say this from the bottom of my heart. To Zambia, thank you. Thank you for being home. The president of the PAC is in Zimbabwe. But the love 
is so much that they are saying, no, but you can't take him. He's one of us. He's one of us. And what I hear from that, it's the true love amongst people that come from the same continent. For them to say, you can't take him, he's ours. It shows that you were, we were not just an unwelcome visitor. So I want to thank this round, I want to thank the Zambians. I want to thank the Zimbabweans. I want to thank the President of Zambia. I want to thank the President of Zimbabwe on behalf of my President, President Sir Ramaphosa. I want to thank you because we would not have been here if it wasn't for you. You played the most important role in this whole event today. And I want to say to you that we love you and help us to deal with these ones that's trying to bring and silly, or silly the relationship that we have. We are children of Africa. May God bless all of you, and I thank you. Thank you very much. So Fikile is still speaking. He says, if you decide to move away and drop from the GNU, 
It is not a train smash. Government will not collapse. Stability is guaranteed in this GNU going forward, and we are determined to do that. So we are actually extending a hand of goodwill to everybody to ensure that the spirit of cooperation prevails. So that's from Fikile Mbalula. But anyway, the report then goes on to say that the former minister of police actually said that the ANC could have arrogantly gone ahead and implemented the bill in its entirety without taking into consideration the views of other parties. Fikile added that there is no challenge with the Bella bill, but it is merely a question of linguistics in terms of the rights of school governing bodies to determine what happens in schools. Now, um, uh, there's a, this other really interesting person, the EFF national spokesperson, Lee Ann Mattis. She actually said that South Africa needs the Bella Bill. So you see, uh, exactly what I observed when I was watching the signing of the Bella Bill during, in the comments, there were some people who were celebrating and another faction were actually saying that, you know, they've been betrayed and all that. So it appears that, you know, the, the Bella Bill is actually a power struggle, you see. It's kind of like a power struggle between those who think that they've been um, marginalized by the present policies in education and those who think that the Bella Bill would probably cause more marginalization of another group of people. So it's really a, a, a power struggle with this Bella Bill. So the EFF spokesperson now, Leanne Mattis, she's actually speaking. She says that the Bella Bill introduces a suite of amendments to address systematic inequalities of basic education in South Africa. The DA is vehemently opposed to the bill because it's inherent hatred of the African child. So this is actually now the perspective of the, of the EFF by the spokesperson, Leanne Mathis. She's actually continuing. She also, she also says, we particularly support the fact that heads of departments will now be given the final authority to determine the admission and language policies at schools and the school governing bodies are currently solely responsible for this and this has enabled them to use this power to exclude African learners and entrench racism in these schools. Now, this power has been used as a tool in the hands of white supremacists to isolate African languages and exclude African children from attending public schools that were formerly exclusively white, says Leon Mathis. So, um, in conclusion, the Naturally Space says that in addition, uh, the good party led by Minister Patricia Delisle has also thrown in her weight behind the Bella Bill. So, Patricia uh, the Lille of Good Party actually supports the Bella Bill. So at the end of the day, my conclusion on what I'm reading about this whole Bella Bill and, you know, it appears that there are some constituencies that it angers and some constituencies that it favors. And so it's really difficult. And this kind of like still highlights the whole con sensitivity of the populace of, of South Africa. You see, it's really sensitive, you know, passing bills. I speak about how sensitive it is to be a policeman, how sensitive it is to be a lawyer, how sensitive it is to be a judge because you are dealing with a really sensitive populace, really multiculturally sensitive, multi-ethnically sensitive. And so this is actually why the Bella Bill now is kind of like throwing a lot of punches in the air. Some people are angry, some people are happy. And at the end of the day, who knows, uh, you know, how, how divided the Bella Bill might div continuously divide um, the country. But at the end of the day, you know, while something that the Bella Bill is a route to equality, something that, you know, it's actually a a kind of like re-entrenchment or kind of like stealing their power away. Like Neil Debe, for example, speaks about how, you know, parents will not be able to decide the kind of policies they would like their children or schools on that environment they would like their children to learn. But one other faction thinks that, you know, the bill is necessary because then it actually helps disenfranchise African children to uh, kind of like over over get over the whole racist or white supremacist tendencies in many white schools or something like that. So it's really tricky where this Bella Bill lies. And, you know, Ramaphosa now has three months to consider these three clauses that seem to be really problematic to the DA and other parties. And then after that, we'll see really what happens. But I know that uh, it's a sensitive one. It's uh, one that actually signifies and identifies, highlights the power struggles, silent power struggles that lies in south africa especially racial power struggles and hopefully um we it, it ends up in a really positive light but anyway i don't know what do you guys think about this now the bear speech here and the analysis share your thoughts let's all learn together in the comments